Good morning, everyone. Welcome back for another video. So today we're going to talk about DTI. It's been a request for many of you guys, but I never got the time to do it. So here I am today with DTI and the post processing. The post processing can be a little bit difficult because there are so many different softwares out there, but I'm going to use uh, Neuro 3D. So just show the simple steps, tips and tricks there. And uh, nevertheless, stick around and I'll show you. My name is Bakken again, I'm an Amorai videographer. So in my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amorai topics, tutorials, troubleshooting, just like this one. And if you're into this kind of topics, do not forget to subscribe. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can run a DTI sequence directly from the Siemens tree. And we can do some little bit post-processing in the end of this video. So without further ado, let's go to the scan and I'll show you. All right, we are currently at 3T, but uh, this works on 1.5 as well. I already run a T2 space 3D sequence here and I have a MPR planning for the, the brain dot. And then we have a DTI right there. So let's open this DTI. Just gonna try to reposition it right here, do a transversal plane. And I'm also combining this with the SMS so it will go faster, but not only faster, I use that time to gain more of the diffusion directions. I will go into that pretty soon. It takes around four minutes there. So in this diffusion, uh, tab right there you have different possible to tick on tick off the values right here mddvw that's the most important one is multi-directional diffusion weighted so having that on will make it possible for you to do a dti so whenever you tick it on you have directions right there i'm using 20 direction here uh, you must at least have six directions the higher number of directions you have the scan time will be increases as well so right over here you also have the different images, the different maps you can tick on, tick off. So I'm ticking on all these here. And if you go into the body tab right there, you also have further maps here, FA map, map exceptional ADC maps. All right, where can you find the sequence? You can find this in the Siemens tree. If you go here to the Siemens, you go to head, and then go to library, and then go to the EPI diffusion. And down here, you have uh, what is called diffusion MDDW. So that's DTI, right? So go in here, you can see it's set up with 20 directions and 2B values and the maps are also there. All right, so let's run that sequence. And um, this is the T2 3D I already scanned. The reason for this, I'm gonna use this as a reference when I'm doing the post processing. The sequence is done now and let's go into the browser and you see here the DTI comes along with the ADC, the trace, the FA, the, the color FA, the tensor. We're gonna use Neuro 3D for post-processing. Some people are using Singovia and others are using Nordic Neurolab and so on and so on. There are so many third parties uh, software here. Let's go into the first sequence right here. First, we have to go for the offline tensor calculation, that right there. And then in the bottom, you will find the offline tensor calculation. Let's go and find that one. That's the bottom right there. And that you can now use the Neuro 3D. All right, so let's close the browser. and Let's check it out. You have the FA map, ADC, the trace, everything. So over here you have different options. You can tick on, tick off the texture. So it's just for you to test out and see whatever you need and do not need. So we go into the fusion mode. That's where we can do the DTI tracked. I don't have an overlay here, that's why I did use a T2 uh, space. So let's go to the browser and let's drag it over. You will get an error message. This error message says that you cannot load this 3D in the, as an overlay for the DTI. So what you're going to do now is that just put OK and confirm it. Because this T2 space is run with 2D distortion correction you have to undo this 2D distortion correction. So as long as you are not using 2D distortion correction, you can use it, right? So we can do it afterwards like this. So it's now with no distortion. That means that you can now use it as an overlay. Drag and drop. Okay, so the T2 now it's an overlay, so it's better for anatomy, right? And we are still in the fusion mode. Okay, remember that the fusion mode is right there. So that means that you can do the, the DTI tract. 
And there are different uh, options you can put, push around and play around with here. Okay, so just drag up and down there. So double click it. Okay, this is very important. If you hold down the control button and the left mouse, you can see right there, you can see where the tracks are going just as an overview, okay? Before you put on its seeds, the seeds is calculation of the track. And then if you put on the control and the left mouse, you draw the seeds like this pretty soon. Okay, control down, left mouse, and then you can draw the seeds like this. You see the green there? I'm drawing it right there. I right click, start tractography. You see, it's simple as that. So you need to know the anatomy before you can, of course, do the pass processing. So I'm just doing a fast pass processing here to show you how it can be done. So I can use the, the shift button to check where the, where the tracks are before I do the, the drawing of it and put on the seeds. Right click now, start tractography. So I also have a different options. If you right click on there, so you have display seeds points and diffusion tracks. You just need to play around and test out what is the need for you, right? Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Even though I didn't go into depth of how you do the post processing, at least now you know how this works. So you just try to figure it out and try to do the small steps at a time. And uh, in the end, you will figure it out. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. What kind of software do you use for DTI post processing? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the notification bell so whenever new videos from me are coming up, you get a ding ding. I will catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.